All right, back at you here. Uh, my wife finally did uh, get that back lid off. I'll show you real quick. Hey, what's up, Rasa? Back with another video. This is gonna be a short one because it's freaking hot out here in the garage. It rained most of the day, the sun's out now, and if you guys know the humidity up here in the Midwest, whew, it's a hot one. I need to go inside to the air conditioning. Anyways, uh, somebody asked me about my motor vlog setup, my camera setup, so that's what this is today. Uh, I'm gonna show you real quick. I'll be talking a little bit in the little videos that I I put together, but uh, I'll show you real quick the what what I do to capture some of the audio and and uh, the video that I take in case you're interested. I know there's a lot of video out there, but uh, most of it's all you can hear is the the wind, all the buffeting of the wind, and it's not really. I mean, the video is cool, but all that wind just really ah, kind of drives me nuts a little bit so I always turn it down but uh, if you do this setup it should help and uh, not only that um, you could add your commentary you know if you're making a video for yourself or for your family um, this is what you need to do it's freaking hot I'm melting here so here's my setup First thing I had to do was uh, oh, that new camera take that back cover off so I could have access to the the where you put the external mic. Here's the Sony FDR X3000, and you can see my wife. Uh, she took this back. Uh, cover off successfully um, there is a video like I said in my uh, two videos ago ever right I think it is the motor vlogger he took this off shows you how to do it but now I got access for my uh, internal mic and whatever else I need then I had to make a hole in the case So here's the here's the case um, that I use. I ended up drilling a hole. And you can see that right here, so I could put my uh, external mic in and hook that up, and that way uh, the case is protected. I mean the camera's protected from all the bugs and whatnot. But I can still uh, hook up an external mic here, so. You guys could hear me talk or you could comment or whatever you want to use it for. Then I had to put some mounts together and my first setup I didn't like. It was too flimsy. Um, I probably could have used some glue or something to fine tune it but uh, I went to the store and uh, went to the uh, Walmart and I was going to look for a different mount and they had one there that was an actual helmet mount and it looked pretty solid so I bought it. Probably could have got it cheaper at eBay but I wanted it now. So I got it. I think it was like 20 bucks. I can't remember what it was. And uh, that seems to work out a lot better. And this is where I mount the camera. I can mount my GoPro or my new Sony and you can see the difference um, this one's got a, just another extra attachment on it and this one's pretty much solid won't move you only adjust right here and tighten this down 
but they're pretty much the same thing but this is a lot more solid it won't move as much compared to this one that I made out so this one this one goes on my helmet anyways I don't have this channel YouTube channel to make money that's not what I'm in it for I'm just in it for document documenting what I do uh, something for my grandkids my great grandkids uh, just a story to show things I did and not only that uh, when I do use it and I don't post uh, videos on it but I do use it and uh, there's a lot of crazies out there so for insurance purposes in case something happens I don't always uh, have my camera on but I'd say a good 60% of the time I do uh, shoot video and uh, have you guys have seen my close calls uh, video um, you catch things and you never know you might need it so here's uh, just need a little bit of slack and I'll show you where I put the microphone at all I all I do is uh, undo this snap here put the mic right there snap it back in and it's pretty much right next to my mouth I don't have it here on the this you know the shin guard I put it right next because I don't wanna I don't want you guys to hear all the Darth Vader noise then I just tuck this wire back like this and it'll stay in place now I'm good now I'm just ready to hit the start button and I am ready to go so this is the setup I have on my modular helmet I could do pretty much the same setup with the GoPro and uh, do exact same thing roll up the X's and then put the rest tucked away and I'm good to go but of course the GoPro will sit you know a little bit wider and not longer like this anyways the reason I do this because you know if you look at pictures old pictures your imagination you don't know what's going on you just look at the picture the old picture and you wonder what they're thinking what they're want to say and whatnot well with the video uh, I think it's real impactful and you can really see where that person's at at their time in their life what they're thinking and and whatnot so it makes it more more fun here's my uh, health half helmet setup and like I said earlier I could do this with the GoPro Straighten it out. Loosen this up. I can straighten it out. Move it side to side. Up or down. The only difference with, between this one, this setup, is that I did add this little piece of Velcro back here. Where I put the wire towards the back. Anyways, then all I do is loop up my microphone on my chin strap. Once I tighten it down and put the strap on, I loop this up right next to my cheek here, right next to my mouth. And uh, that's enough to get audio to record. So I don't have no boom mic or anything. This is the setup I use for my half helmet. I think having the speaker right close to you, uh, to your mouth or by your cheek, um, really helps the buffeting of the wind so you don't hear all that wind noise. Ooh, excuse me. And you could also, like I said, comment, comment on it and express your, uh, your thoughts while you're riding. The neighbors on the speakerphone in his vehicle. Anyways, uh, 
I like, you know, like I said, I just, I just want to share everything, uh, my adventures, uh, if it's helpful for somebody, if it entertains somebody, that's good. Um, really, that's, that's all I do. It's just a little hobby. Keeps me out of trouble. And something to pass the time. Like I said earlier, just a little short video. It's hot in the garage. I'm ready to go inside. Uh, put this video together for you guys. Just a short video on my vlogging setup. In case you guys are interested. Big Mundo out.